Oh, that's new. That's definitely new, isn't that? Surely that's no, that was not that before. I'm pretty certain this confirms something is happening here this year. 110 percent. Lights, camera, action. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. It is finally time for the Fort Park Fright Nights construction updates to begin as always. Today I'm joined by my very good friend, Kieran yo, Adams. Yo, I'm gassed. We were just saying, this is now the fourth year of Fort Park Fright Nights construction updates on the channel and we're kicking it off today with hopefully a very exciting video. It's, it's a bit later in the year. It is. What, end of August. End of August. Oh, At this point normally we'd have a complete maze lineup. We'd have seen tons of construction going on but of course with the crazy year that we've had everything's been a bit different and a bit, um, bit mental but I think we've reached a point where we can go into the park and see some actual Fright Nights construction. We've got loads of really, really exciting things to discuss in today's video and loads of really cool things to show you as well, hopefully. So yeah, are you excited I'm gassed. for it's the Fright Nights while. updates? You know, I've been waiting a while, but we're getting a Fright Nights and I can't wait to start the videos again. That's oh cool. yes, as always, we're starting in the car park and we're about to head into the park. We'll be heading down Monk's Walk, as always, a little bit later on, but for now, Let's go and head into the Fort Park Resort. So we have first made our way over to containment where just like everything at Fright Nights this year, nothing has yet been said about it. Looking at the building though, it's not looking great, is that's it? Too good. No, that doesn't mean anything, but that door is... Just like literally, this door... It's gonna need a fair bit of repairing. Oh, the just the exterior. No idea what the interior is like. It's probably like pretty yeah, calm in there, because it's indoors, but, but... At the same time, if they were not to use it, there is a lot of items in there that could be... Oh, absolutely. It's quite a confined space which covid wise isn't ideal and there obviously are ways around that yeah, you know escape think... rooms are currently open in the country so that's the thing though i think it is such an attraction that could be controlled but then a cleaning as well it'd literally be like a group an hour it just ain't gonna work the right. throughputs wouldn't be great but of course we will just have to wait for an official announcement like with every other attraction for fright nights this year but if i had to play to bet at this point i'd say it's not looking good for containment this year. I think it's unnecessary attention. It doesn't, it, like, it doesn't, yeah. just not this year. But as you said, it won't be like it's just pushed away. There is some really cool stuff in there yeah, that I imagine taken elsewhere. Yeah, so, will be repurposed yeah. if they missed. don't choose to have it. So yeah, um, not looking great for containment in my opinion, but we'll have to wait and see. now made our way over to the Stealth Plaza where for those of you that um, visited Fort Park Friday Nights 2019 you'll know there was one of the best attractions in this area. Got it. it was of course Terror at Amity High High School Psych. It was brand new for last year and it was basically a little flash mob slash scare zone experience where the Amity High vampires would, would kind of roam around. And, oh the dance was The dance the was incredible. Was the light smoke. Oh, honestly it was insane and like, if you didn't see it you missed out. Big time, big time and as expected nothing yet had uh, happened in this area. It's still a little... That. Oh. <laughs> so I've dry in the area where the stage was. So, are they drying the ground? <laughs> it's been a very rainy day, and as you can see, the yeah, floor's a bit, uh, here, bit damp. A big but over stage. here, guys, <laughs> over here, it's bone dry. 
I don't know, but Kieran's little conspiracy there. It but... would be insane to also see the stage here, underneath Stel. Oh, that would be cool. Like, literally, right there, as the train launches, you've got the dance going on. Um, but yeah, as far as we're aware, it's looking likely that um, Amity High will return. It's the perfect thing to come back to, to be honest, with distance. And it went down so well last year that I think they'd be a, a little bit silly to not bring it back, in fact. I think the theme as a whole is just sick. Yeah. Vampires in a high school, like, it's, a, it's a unique thing, it's original. You even, you said one day you'd like to see a maze. Yeah, you said. Uh, an Amity maze, I think that would be cool. In Angry Birds. Yeah. yeah but for this year, I think we can absolutely see Amity High returning to this area. As I said in my previous Five Nights video, maybe even bigger, better, with oh, sure. new lighting and uh, probably a different dance show as well. But I guess some lights attached to stealth. Some light attached to stealth, yeah. Spitballing, just spitballing. <laughs> But yeah, I think we can pretty solidly say that uh, it's likely that Amity High will return for this year. Oh, I do feel for the fast track sign <laughs> if it does come back. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh no, boy. We've now headed over to Darren Brown's Ghost Train, which is still, of course, closed this year due to COVID-19. However, we've got another Kieran conspiracy yeah, for you guys. Yeah. So, I suppose it's not really conspiracy, but like, <laughs> I was thinking, that like, scene over there, if you haven't done Ghost Train, like the mid-scene, what's it called? In the red building. I believe the technical term is scene two. Scene two, scene, scene two. two. They could open it up as a little maze this year. Like, don't bother the train bit, because meh. Like, just open that bit of it or something, and then you could even connect it to the Walking Dead ride, like... Oh man, yeah, he's extending no, the this conspiracy. this is a double IP. <laughs> it's like the Blumhouse one at Horror Nights, if you know what I mean. There's two IPs in one. <laughs> Maybe they could even have a little marquee yeah, I mean, in like, that little so bit to be, extend the maze. maze there, the inside, it just, just would be cool. They just fully just like alpha it, just made some random <laughs> maze in there. Because they never can happen again, because the ride Literally, would be operational. It's like a one year only thing, and yeah, it would be really cool. I don't think it's very likely to happen at all is literally just something Kieran mentioned earlier like the hog will go here. The hog, yeah, no, 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 that yeah. <laughs> realistically we'll just have a few food um trucks here and stuff but what an idea that would be like get you on the creative team mate <laughs> but yeah next up we're heading somewhere very exciting literally just over there but it is a, a big big piece of Fright Nights news that I'm very very excited to share with you guys so let's go and check it out right now So unfortunately we've had to take refuge within Wilderness Bar and Kitchen because of the torrential rain at the moment but we've got some very very exciting things to discuss. As you just saw, first of all, Jungle Escape. It has literally turned into a Jungle Escape. <laughs> like, it's so, I don't know how we haven't noticed this <laughs> but it's so overgrown. Like, it's, it's reminding me of some trees I saw in the park. Back in the park. <laughs> The whole entrance is just pure undergrowth now. It's kind of theming. It's, uh, it's great theming. It does look pretty good. <laughs> I mean, at the moment, the entire building is just um, currently got the jungle escape escape room within it, which unfortunately didn't open this year once again due to coronavirus. But we've said this for years. It's a perfect maze space, isn't it? We've had, had some of the best mazes to ever exist. In we've there. had Asylum in there. We've had Studio 13. Literally, the freezer. The freezer also, I never did it, but some incredible yeah. mazes, and I would love one day for that space to return. Potentially next year. It's yeah. a big 20th anniversary for Friday Nights next year. And Jungle Escape doesn't really have a place in this park, in my opinion, so I'd have to just go for a maze. So yeah, this Friday night, nothing's going to be going on within that building. Last year, the queue line was due to the Blair Witch, and we'll discuss that a little bit later on. But, of course, a super exciting bit of news was through that little, uh, through the gap in the fence, you could see the maintenance area for the park, and within that area is the big 
top Zoltar box. Oh, and what's that doing? What's it doing there? What's oh, it doing there? What is it out? Has that just been left out as a little tease, almost as if it's for us Bright Nights so fans to get excited? Anyway, like where that's been purposely moved, probably quite far. Uh, yeah. Being the elements, like, yeah. It's, it's outdoors. Right now. It's, it's not having a great time. To me, it seems like a bit of a tease. It's gone. We're gonna leave this out in the open. Surely, <laughs> Mind surely. Red three and all our eggs. <laughs> that box was originally used in the Big Top maze back when it used to be on the beach, and it's since been in every version of the Big Top. What's in the box? Um, yeah. What's in the box? Yeah. Of course, if you watched my first Friday Night video of the year where I kind of predicted what this year's event would look like, I did mention the big thought and how I thought personally it would return this year and to me that that kind of strengthens the argument yeah I mean in regards to story wise it was perfectly sound for next year which I think is going to be a huge year a big year for Bright Nights nice next year a bit of speculation here I, I can't see the maze returning this year as I said I can kind of see something similar to Big Top Showtime or we'll maybe have roaming actors or um, a scare zone with the Big Top clowns and stuff but as Kieran just said, that could be setting up for the maze to return in its full form, full glory, next year. But yeah, in terms of the characters for Bright Nights, they're pretty pretty well suited to COVID and stuff, because mimes, they obviously don't talk, they can easily have a face mask. Clowns, I imagine they'll have beamed face masks and stuff. I think it's definitely a, a, an idea that's easy, it's easy enough to pull off safely. But I do think all of the performers this year, I'm pretty sure, will have to have um, face masks on, just to, just to let you guys know. But uh, I don't have done that well. Like, Legoland, they have like the knights, and they have, they have sick beam masks, and they actually look better than if you didn't have a mask on. So I don't think that'll be an issue at all. Like, we're, it won't take away from the Friday night's experience or anything. Like, you yeah, you can't see the masks, yeah. So. Um, but yeah, big talk. Really, really exciting seeing that beaming piece. We'll have to wait for an official announcement or any further construction to take place. And as soon as that does happen, I'll be filming it in a construction update for you guys. But yeah, next up, once it's rained ice out, I'm going to head round over to Creek Creek, where we've got some very um, exciting things to discuss over there as well. So we've now left Wilderness, and uh, as Kieran's just said, we've now got this uh, little Gun game open. Gun game. <laughs> yeah, it's from from over there years and years ago. Yeah. I used to remember it in the Blair Witch Cube. But as you just said, they could really put in some cool Easter eggs in here. I saw Jack in the box. Jack in the box. Oh, <laughs> Big top. <laughs> But yeah, Lee's getting destroyed at this, I reckon, come Fright Nights, yeah, get gun game. <laughs> but uh, something that myself and Kieran have said for many, many years now, is this whole pathway behind us is perfect scare zone territory. You could literally have actors roaming around this area, and uh, as, as we've said before, you could have a little safe route through wilderness. So if you guess didn't want to get scared. Yeah, we got the new lighting. That was a massive part of last year's yeah, Bright yeah, Nights yeah. updates. Kieran would mention it every time. Yeah. But imagine like just having acted in this area, some really ambient lighting as well, especially down this little pathway here. It'll go in really well. And um, just something to mention, of course, last year's Bright Nights teasers came out and there was a character that we were all a bit confused about and uh, he ended up not even coming to the Friday Nights event. It was of course um, this like Scarecrow character that you can see on the screen now. We thought he would somehow be incorporated into Creek Creek Massacre and they'd have those kind of masks in there. But it never came to fruition or anything. Glad in a way, but yeah, I'm very glad. But um, of course with this year we're kind of predicting that there will be more scare zones, more shows, that kind of thing. So could we finally see that character coming to Fright Nights, maybe in the form of a scare zone or something? I mean, it would work well because they just stand there and I think, the odd scare when there's I think it would be so. sick and yeah, they are perfect characters for social distancing. And that's, so. that's probably a whole mask. Right? Yeah. So just a little prediction, complete speculation, but imagine like a scarecrow or like oh, this so creepy oh, moss. Oh, like, Blood yeah, Harvest so. can come back! Blood Harvest! <laughs> Yeah. Imagine if that started like over here and kind of just led all the way down into Creepy Massacre. It'd be, be really cool. It's gonna be cool, blood. <laughs> huh? Right, so we're gonna head down over into Old Town to go and check out Creepy Creep Massacre now.
As mentioned, we've now headed over into Old Town to the fantastic Creek Freak Massacre, which is just behind me. Once again, it's a very difficult one to predict, yeah, isn't it? Literally, who knows? Like, obviously, I'd love for it to come back, obviously, but I have no idea what the plan is. Like, it's such a strange one because it's brand new. It's a fantastic maze that had so much hype last year, and that hype has continued into this year. But it is an entirely indoor maze, and the ventilation wasn't great in there, it was is it? It's quite compact. Yeah, like, they definitely could change it. Like they might change. I, I literally have no idea. I'd love for it to come back though. One of the biggest issues with this maze when it opened last year was the fact that um, I think a lot of the fumes from the chainsaws kind of lingered in the building. They did massively improve all of the um, ventilation and stuff. But the fact that the towers are probably going to do it gives me hope. Yeah, so. the, yeah, that's completely true. The towers have got many indoor mazes. Indoors, so. Much, so. Why well, can't Fort do it? And I think Fort will really, really want to get this incredible maze open. Um, could we see any changes in there if it does open? Maybe some scenes like adapted so yeah. it can be widened. I don't know. Maybe the strobe maze might be adapted. Also, a way they could control it, limited capacity, yeah. putting a potential upcharge on it. That's a whole other thing to discuss. Could we be seeing charge tickets at this year's event? It would really suck in a way, but like it would, it would make a lot of sense. It's understandable, but oh, it, it'll it be would, a tough it one. It'll be a very tough one. Me, but it would. But, if it meant that we could get Creek over this yeah. year, and that was the only paid for thing here this year. Oh, yeah. that's we'll, we'll have to wait and see what Four Park's plan is because they are like currently doing it all. This could finally be the year that Brave It Alone returns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, we had so many amazing memories in this maze. The amount of times we sprinted down this ramp. Scary, bro, scary. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as of yet, there's no visible construction. Who knows what's going on inside? But yeah, we're just gonna have to cross our fingers and hope that Creek Freak will return for this year. Next up, we're gonna head over to Platform 15, where I believe some visible construction has been going on. The update starts here. <laughs> so, so we're gonna head over there and check it out. Oh. oh. That's got to confirm it's opening. Oh, let's be honest. So as I just said, we're now over here at Platform 15, where, as you can see, some very exciting construction. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's got to confirm this maze is coming back. I mean, if it wasn't, you'd, you'd think they'd just, they'd just leave it, because I guess they're doing that because it was rotting or, old, yeah, or some kind of safety issue. But the fact that they are changing it suggests so just surely the maze oh, is returning. Concrete. concrete. That's bags of concrete, so there could be concrete in it instead Ooh, of Oh, okay. A thing. And of course, yeah, because wood isn't ideal for the elements, it rots, so. Ooh, that's very I good spot. Think that they'd bother with that if there was no bad. Yeah. So, and we spoke about this so much, me and Jack. That's what I've just spotted as well. We've got a new fence in here. 100% that's new. So. To me, it suggests they're kind of just future-proofing this queue line and entrance area for platform. Anyway, like I was saying, we've spoken about this. It's the perfect maze to come back this year, I think, because it has got a lot of outdoor elements. The house is a tiny inside element. Yeah. Uh, the tunnel might be an issue, but I think we'll see platform back this year. No yeah. worries. We will be heading down Monk's Walk, which is a public footpath. It literally runs just over there next to the Fort Park Resort and it runs all the way down to where the train is um, for platforms. So who knows, we might be able to see some really exciting stuff over there. And of course, we'll be checking out Blair Witch as well, which yeah. uh, is all a bit up in the air this yeah. year. So we've we'll got plenty to discuss down Monk's Walk. But yeah, Platform 15 looks very promising. The fact that they're doing doing some construction over here. So yeah. Despite Corona, I would love this maze to come back anyway. So Absolutely, I love yeah. This maze. Yeah. It's better every year. So good sign, good sign. So over here at the site of Black Mirror Labyrinth, which is of course now opening in 2021. Nothing's going on as expected. Like I presume they'll finish off the attraction in the winter period, but that does of course mean that we've lost an indoor maze space for this finance, which is a shame. Big shame, uh, but hopefully when this opens next year, we'll, we'll, it's worth it. Yeah. I'm, I'm very excited for this attraction still. And they have actually been doing some work on yeah, it. Yeah, we've got like a, so. 
a white strip along the top of the building now and of course the uh, the infamous tunnel is now gone so that's a win-win but of course previously in this building during Friday nights we had mazes like Living Nightmare, Cabin in the Woods, Come The Passing, on. Hellgate so some really fantastic mazes and it is a shame that this year um, we won't have access to this area but it's one of those things like there's nothing anyone can do about it so yeah we'll just have to look forward to 2021 when Black Mirror Labyrinth will open. I'm mainly just excited for that sign. That massive it's sign to go in. It's so big. Oh my god. That'll be a great day when that goes up. Over here at Sora Live, we've got quite possibly the most exciting thing in this update. As you can see, the window has been opened. You can tell it's been a dry year. Uh, <laughs> nah, that does, that means someone's been in there. I mean. Unless it's like secretly haunted and a ghost nah, has opened no, that. Don't, don't. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's yeah. going to be shut next time we come. <laughs> fun, nah. It surely means that someone has been in there. I believe the upper floor of Sora Live was used for some kind of storage. So I don't know, maybe they're getting some costumes, some props from in there. Seriously, why would the window be open? Like, 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 I don't know, it is a weird one. It's a weird one. As far as I was aware, the whole boat was like locked off. Like no one was really allowed to go on it unless... Maybe this fuels this ghost area. Sora Live's haunted, guys. <laughs> Over here in the area where previously Do or Die has been located, just opposite Rush and uh, Zodiac, nothing's been going on, has it? Um, oh, I swear that was very last minute last year. It was, I think, the last maze to start construction. It went up like overnight, we came and watched it. But uh, a few people have uh, mistaken these arrows here. Um, for potential maze markings, but no, they are in fact from uh, Bouncilla, and then the blue ones, I believe, were from Do or Die, these little blue markings over here, so nothing too exciting yet. come back, like, again, this, it's an indoor-outdoor hybrid, and it could be fine, like. As I discussed in the first Fight Nights video, unfortunately, I don't think the Walking Dead theme is coming back this year. The school, but, <laughs> but the Do or Die maze, um, kind of structure structure could come back. I could absolutely see coming back because it is mm, it's like 60% outdoors yeah it's, it's just you've got a few indoor containers sure that there was not two groups in containers at yeah time, but I don't know we'll see but um yeah I, I could see it coming back with a potential retheme and of course in previous years Big Top space. has been located here it's a great space it's a, nice isn't it? space it's a great space, space. It's, really, it's a really atmospheric space yeah like, really hard to tell what's going to be here saying that though, there are some red markers here oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, they're picking they're, up, but I presume die. that's from Do or Die last year, but I can't yeah, say I've ever like noticed yeah, them. Yeah, like a... Hmm. Well, yeah, as I said, we'll have to keep an eye on this area and see um see what develops with it. But at the moment, hard to tell. I think the entire oh, we got a red arrow here. Look at that. Oh, it's a cross, it's a cross. I don't know. There's another one there. Yeah, there's actually a fair amount of, of red markers. No. I don't know. We probably just look like clowns. Yep. <laughs> I think we're going to see rapid construction with Friday nights this year. But yeah, exciting stuff. We're now going to go and head to Monk's Walk. We have now drove down to the entrance to Monk's Walk. We've actually just gone via a very exciting destination to pick up some very exciting packages. As Kieran's holding them there. Have a, have a look on the other side, Kieran. Oh, oh, honestly, the amount of work that's gone into these bad boys and the amount of trouble I've had when it comes to them is mad, but just give it a quick little flash. Really? Quick little flash. Little flash yeah. Wow, let's go! <laughs> but yeah, we're all parked up. Let's go and head down Monk's Walk.
looks like a lovely Fanta that does. I think it was a lemon, so whoever drank that is an absolute legend. But yeah, we're now here at the uh, Sleeper Express, just the other side of this fence. What are you saying about that, Kieran? It's nice to see it again, isn't it? It's nice, nice to see, see it again. It. Uh, and I know you're going to be asking, is the gas canister there, Kieran? <laughs> Not at the moment. Not at the moment, no. This platform does continue throughout the whole of Old Town, and it is open to the elements. It is outdoors, like the houses, I think, are pretty much entirely made of wood. Yeah. And uh, there's obviously loads of boulders up on the side, so it is prone to, like, weathering. To me, it's open to the elements, therefore it has to be built for the elements. But so. um, let's just cross our fingers that they'll be able to bring it back uh, perfectly again this year. But yeah. Like, can we be seeing that before? It is the tunnel, I believe. It's being stored at the yeah, kind of is. where the be yeah. the beginning of the tunnel normally is. You can see it if you go and saw the ride at the moment. Ready to roll out. Um, so yeah, I presume they'll just have to come up with a COVID secure plan to enable them to do that. Whether if they send in a, a kind of household bubble every yeah. Uh, yeah. every minute or so, but yeah, um, we'll have to wait and see how they um, develop these mazes to be COVID secure. But yeah, we're going to head down and see a bit of the construction for platform on the other side of the fence now. Um, you should be able to get a better view of it. But yeah, down here, nothing's changed. Oh, that's, you know, that is something to know. What's that? The flaps have been moved to the side, aka, you know. Oh, that does show that people and... Easy access. That sounds stupid. Have been coming down here. Really yeah. Sounds silly, guys, but this is the first piece of vertical construction we've seen at Friday Nights 2020 this year, and I'm pretty certain this confirms something is happening here this year 110%. Like, there's no denial. Why would they put a fence up if yeah. it's not going here? The fact that they've very clearly been working on that wooden ramp there and they've put in this permanent green fence, and it is permanent because there's literally yeah. concrete down on the floor there. You can see the bag of concrete there and the bases have been concreted in. So it shows that they're, they're a permanent plan. A queue line is going here yeah. this year. Four, four. Whether if it's for platform or yeah. whether if it is for something else, we don't know yet. We can presume it's platform purely by the fact that the platform 15 sign is still over there. But you, we don't want to speak too soon because things change. But to me, they're suggesting for the future, there's always going to yeah. be a queue line here now. For the, for, for the foreseeable for future. But yeah, with that wooden ramp, it seems like they've got the buckwheats out to get them some nice fresh new wood that they've laid down. And it seems like they're just go about to put the cover onto that. Um, oh, that's new. That's definitely new, isn't it? The Platform 15 posters in there. Oh. That's new. That's the theme. Surely that's not, no, that wasn't like that before. Oh even, boy. Even, even that wood was that not there, I swear. Oh, this is exciting. Look at this. So yeah, before this was originally a set for Zombie Hunt, which was a little attraction that was at the park during 2018. Yeah. Um, and it involved you having like these blasters. Ooh. And that was like an old granny's house kind of, kind of scene. But now, it's been completely it um, like re-beamed. Yeah. That, like, train room. It, it almost seems like it is a waiting room for the Creekwoods tour, I believe they called it. Um, Creek Tours, there it is, it says on that poster there. Um, but yeah, yeah, it literally looks like a waiting room because there's three wooden chairs in there all lined up. It's kind of hard to see. I'll try and get as best of an angle. But yeah, there's three chairs in there and you've got posters behind. Um, and then a little chandelier. I see this green bed stopped the whole way. There's extra yeah. holes and I think the, the queue came to about here anyway. The queue, I think, stopped about here during last year's fight yeah, nights. I mean, but yeah, we're it's, getting some queue line theming. Mate, that's, mad. that's, that's sick. It. Seems like we're getting themed Fright Nights queue lines this year, especially for a platform at least. And also, if these have been freshly printed, like, if there's any going. Oh, like, we'd really, love really, one of those. Really like one of those posters. Oh, that would be sick yeah, in the in the launch posters. studio. Yeah. That would look brilliant. So if, if anyone can sort that, I'd be so appreciative. Um, but yeah, really, really cool little theming scene there. Um, and yeah, it seems like this green fence is gonna come all the way down. Curtains as well. I don't know what they're for, but there are some curtains there. Yeah, really, really cool development there. Was not expecting to see that one. And you can see this is where um, they've put all of the old theming there that used to be steps. in there. There was steps going up to it. There was the chair, and then that, there was like a brick wall. Like the brick that's up there now, there was like the whole way around. Yeah. 
and it's right there. It's literally there. So they've there. actually repainted and they've literally fully they basically fully themed, the room. themed that room. Um, there's a bit of Q line theming. And if that doesn't tell you the that platforms are coming back, then what does? Yeah, that once again just extra solidifies the fact that we are getting platform this year. But yeah, that's the old armchair that was there. So whilst walking down the side of the Blair Witch Maze, we've noticed a few um, things along the way. Probably the biggest one is the fact that the flaps are really, really open on the shed at the end there, which once again, like platform, suggests that people have been going in. People yeah, have been looking access. at it. They've been like pinned up. Uh, so. Another thing that I forgot to actually show you guys within the park um, is that the old Blair Witch exit signs have been taken off the Nemesis Inferno exit. Previously, it would say like Blair Witch exit only. Um, those have now gone now. So, to me, all of these signs are just kind of suggesting and pointing to the fact that Blair Witch won't be returning. But this May space very much could do. As we, and me, and Kieran were looking, it seems very open at the moment. They've Bulldoze. they've removed some of the trees. It looks like, especially in this section. And it just seems really, really open. You can see literally those buckets there uh, are where um, trees previously would have been. Um, it's all like electrically, like it looks wild, dark. Yeah. It could easily be in a maze space for this year, just not the Blair Witch. Yeah. Um, it, it's a hard one to tell because uh, the Blair Witch like stick symbols are still all up. But they've still got like over a month to um, design all of this. Yes, one. that's a very key yeah. one. On this little wooden pole here is super super hard to see um, there was previously a welcome to Burkittsville sign which is of course the, the um, village town that Blair Witch took place in that's now gone so just these minor minor details all seem to kind of be pointing at the fact that maybe Blair Witch won't return um, but as for this maze space I, I can see it returning it's all outdoors pretty much um, but I'd be excited yeah see something new uh, i mean it wouldn't technically be a new thing but just a, a thought park name on it it would have a new theme a new yeah. new characters yeah, in new there characters so the it would be very exciting and i'd be very excited for that but we'll have to wait and see once again with everything yeah. else we'll wait for an official announcement and further construction to take place So that brings us to the end of the very first Fright Nights construction update of the year. The first of many, hopefully. Um, have you had a good time, Kieran? It's been great. I've actually saw and seen so much more than I thought we were going to see. Yeah. Like, even just that platform stuff, but I'm gassed. I can't wait. It's like a month away now. Oh boy, it's close. Wait. And There's it's dark evenings. Oh so... yes. Oh, I'm gassed. Oh yes. I, uh, hopefully, it won't be long at all before we get an official maze announcement. And as soon as that comes out, I'll be making a video straight away. And there'll be, of course, a ton more construction updates to share with you guys. Um, but I think the biggest thing to take from this year's Fight Nights event. Is this going to be a very different one? And with that, I wouldn't even be surprised if we do get a lot of new things at this year's Fright Nights. Rather than um, bringing back um, stuff that we've seen previously, I think we could be in some some new and exciting things. It could just, shake Fright Nights up yeah, a bit. if you just do this, like, just have an open mind to whatever it could be. Fort Park, Owen Towers are pretty much the only events in this country that are going forwards. Like, that is crazy and mad respect. So I think no matter what we have, if, if there's no indoor scare mazes, at least, we, at least we've got something, we've so... Had, yeah, it, we're so, like, we've been so deprived this year <laughs> of, like, fun stuff, and, like, so, like, it's just going to be the sickest event, and I can't wait. Big up um, the team that are currently, I'm sure, still working on it. Can't wait to see what is announced very soon. But, yeah, thank you all very much for watching this video. Thanks, Kieran, for coming along. Big up. As always, his links will be down in the description. And, yeah, otherwise, leave a thumbs up if you're excited for Fright Nights and leave a comment down below. I nearly slipped over there. <laughs> leave a comment down well, below with, with any speculation that you guys have about this year's event. And otherwise, my name is Jack Silkstone. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Dripped out now I'm vibing Link with the boys Jump straight to the island Silkstone flex on a wave like tidal Style so crazy I hit it in asylum <laughs>